Hi everybody, welcome back to Three Sisters Homestead. Today we are out in the garden and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little garden tour. This is the bean bed that we made in a previous video. You can see our little beans are starting to come up. So these are all blue lake bush beans in this little portion here. And then this portion is just a walkway. And here we put some collard greens. And those are just starting to pop out. And I don't think any of the flowers are starting to come up just yet, but those, um, what were they, columbine flowers. But we do have the sunflowers starting to come up as well. And over here, we kind of have like our seed starting stuff sitting there. This bucket is just some wildflowers. That is some zinnias. Those are just sitting over here in the shade under this tree. Over here we have a little herb bed. We have some chamomile. A zinnia that we popped in there. Some thyme, parsley, sage, and rosemary. Alright, these were some marigolds. But my sister kept forgetting to water them, so... They are pretty much all dead. We're gonna have to start some more of those. And then this is our corn. We had put the corn out in ground, but we had a lot of grass coming up and we couldn't tell what was corn and what was grass. So we started them in some little containers here. And then the okra, we had to restart as well. Again, there's some more corn that died because she kept forgetting to water it. But that's okay. We had to start some more okra because the birds kept getting the seeds out of the ground. And then that brings us to our arched trellis here. These squash out here, we thought that these were zucchini or a yellow squash that were coming up. And there's one here too. We had probably about five or six of them come up in this area and we took them out besides these two of them. Or I guess three because there's one growing up that tree there as well. But we thought that they were either zucchini or yellow squash, so we left them. But it turns out they are a gourd because they're vining. This one's running all the way out there. I trimmed this one up a lot because it was so big. But they are getting flowers on them. Um, I don't see any immature fruit on them yet. Oh, that one broke right off. So, I don't think that these are getting pollinated because, you see, these ones all fell off too. So, I'm not sure what kind of gourd it is, but we'll see if it gives us anything. We're just going to leave it here for now. And on the outside of this arch trellis, we put some sunflowers on each side. This one's there too. But on the inside of this trellis, we have Thai yard long beans. They're starting to come up pretty good. They're starting to wrap around by themselves now. The first loop or two, we had to kind of um, wrap them up there ourselves. But they're coming up really good. There are a lot of weeds in here. We were trying to get the weeds pulled um, before we did this video. But this grass is really persistent. So you guys are going to see a lot of weeds. This is more of those Thai yard long beans. And then this square here, but there are some purple potted beans in here. You can see that they're setting flowers. And then blue lake bush beans as well. Those are starting to get little, tiny little beans on them. You can see those tiny little beans coming on. So that square there, that's beans. And then there's a little volunteer tomato. I'll we'll walk around and I'll show you guys that too. And then this side, this square, is all dragon's tongue beans. And we come down this main walkway here. See all this grass coming up? 
telling you guys, this grass is really persistent. But this is that volunteer tomato. I don't know what kind it is since it's a volunteer, but we left it here and we thought that this would be our experiment tomato to show you guys how a tomato grows if you don't interfere with it. Behind our arch trellis here, there are some yellow squash and black beauty zucchini. In this area that's covered up right now, this is where we are trying to kill that grass so that we could plant the corn out. Behind where we're going to have the corn, the little three sisters garden area, we just keep walking down the main walkway. We have another walkway off to the left here. You can see more grass coming up. This is our okra. Some of them, like that little one, came up later than the rest of them. But they seem to be doing pretty good. Got a little bit of damage. I don't know if that was a bird or if it was a bug or what. But we do have a lot of birds out here. So it could be either. These ones are a lot bigger. And there's a lot of space here that's open. That's where the birds took the seeds out. And then there are two more little okras right there. And then when we come down that row, this is more zucchini and yellow crookneck squash. And I trimmed these up and pruned them in another video. And I'll put a little tag for you guys if you want to watch that video. But I'm going to go and see. We do have some little fruits on there. And here's some of those zucchini. We've got plenty of those coming on too. Each one's got a couple. This one came up a little bit later, but I'm pretty sure this one is a yellow cork neck squash as well. This half a row is our Kenbeck, Kenbeck potatoes. They are flowering already. Um, I'm not quite sure why they're flowering so fast, but they are. They haven't been in here very long. I think we've been in here for... ...said that they were 100 to 120 day variety, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let's see, some of them are flowering. These ones haven't, but we'll see. And then here is some more squash. This area was empty because I had only got 15 of these seed potatoes. So we still had half of a row, so we filled it in with squash. This whole row here, we planted 30 seed potatoes of Yukon Gold. And the same thing with these guys. They're flowering already as well. Um, I thought that these were going to be 100 day variety as well. But they're flowering already. These little pesky weeds. Man, these are everywhere. Pull them out. Here's another little one. And along the fence here. All of these morning glories came up. This whole fence is covered in them. This trailer is just going to be completely engulfed in them. But before these came up, we did plant some watermelons along the fence. That way they could climb this. There's another one there. Another one there. Another one there. And then we planted a few cantaloupes as well, but I don't think that these guys are... I think that one is dead. Yep, I don't even see that one anymore. Looks like three came up right here. But these guys just aren't doing so well. I don't know if it's because of the heat or what. We've been having a pretty hot spring. It's summer now, but man, it's been so hot. 
and this starts, oh, this is one of the cantaloupes as well. So this starts our cucumbers. We have cucumbers growing all along the fence. Instead of letting them ramble out in the garden, we put them on the fence and we're gonna let them grow up the fence. And since we're back here, we'll just go ahead and start with the tomatoes. The back half of the garden, there are a lot of weeds and a lot of grass. We've gotten the front half pretty well weeded and pretty well mulched, but this back half, we haven't quite gotten to it yet. Back few rows are all Roma tomatoes. This one here was also another volunteer. Not sure what it is. But these guys, we put these all out here when they were probably about that big. So they're really taking off now. Doing really well. I need to come in and prune these ones as well because they're starting to get suckers on here. i pull those off. They're starting to get these little suckers from the armpits of the plant. So we need to come through and prune these. These few rows are all our romas. And these ones I believe are romas as well. These are older plants than those last four rows. Um, these two rows we planted a couple weeks before those. That way we would be able to have a succession harvest. So we'll be able to harvest off of these. And then a few weeks later we'll be able to harvest off of those. But these ones are starting to set fruit. see down here these ones got a lot of flowers on them and these guys these prickly little weeds I hate them I cannot pull those out without wearing gloves and even then they still poke through my gloves they those just suck I hate them and then these are our black creme tomatoes. These ones are getting really big really fast. These are indeterminate tomatoes. These romas are determinate, so that's why they're in the smaller cages. But these black crims are indeterminates. They're still gonna outgrow these cages, like you can see already, they're already outgrowing the cage. But I've never had an issue with cages. They do just fine for us. Uh, I don't think this one's setting any fruit just yet. Let's see. Got plenty of flowers. Oh, there's one. One little guy. For this whole row, there's five of them. Yes. We took some tea posts and some metal zip ties and branches that were laying around the property and made a little trellis here. We're going to do these um, Florida weave style. You can see there is some twine down here to help keep it up as well. But this one here is the green zebra. And let's see which one this is. Some of the tags have gotten lost in the mulch. Found it. This one is Hungarian heart. I'll stick that back in. This is striped German. Oh man, this guy needs tied back up because it's falling over. I can't find the tag for these last two. I'm pretty sure that these are great white. So these ones have some of their tags. These ones seem to be missing their tags. So I'll have to go back and look at our video of when we planted them to see which tomatoes I put where. And the same with this row. Uh, they're all doing pretty good. We need to come through and tie them up. This one, I can tell that this is a brandy wine because of the way their leaves look. And this one's a brandy wine as well. And so is this guy back here. And this one, 
is New Girl. So that is the three rows that we made these Florida weave trellises. And then this row are our cherry tomatoes. This one is a white cherry. This one's a white cherry. Or no, that one's white. This one's red. And those are black sprinkles. This one there is a volunteer. This one is another brandy wine. This one's the chocolate sprinkles. And you can already tell that these are a pretty dark tomato because they're pretty dark green and they've got some stripes. And then this row is more um, Roma tomatoes. These cages were my great grandfather Frank's. My dad had them out in the barn still. So we went ahead and reused these. They're still good, they're still gonna hold up. We'll see how long they last, but like I said, they were my great grandfather's. So we wanted to go ahead and use those in his memory. But these are more Romas, like I was saying. And then this one is a volunteer as well. We left it because we can just tie it up between these two cages. Brings us to our peppers. A little bit of trash out here. Put that in my pocket. This is our row of mini confetti bell peppers. And we had another volunteer tomato. There's just volunteer tomatoes all over the place. We gotta get a cage for the for the ones that don't have cages. But these are just looking so beautiful. I love these plants. I saved the seeds from these from last year. And these ones are looking like they did last year. But then this next plant, these are looking more like a banana pepper. And when we tasted it, they do taste like a banana pepper. So these ones had to have gotten cross-pollinated. But it's still got that very pretty variegation. I think this one's probably got the most white on it. And the peppers also have the most lighter color on them. And then this row is kind of a little bit of a mix of things. There's volunteer tomato. There's a volunteer tomato. And then these were, I think, a mix of green bell peppers. I think that one's a green bell pepper. And then these were... Maybe the yellow. Yep. Yeah. Here's the tag. These were yellow. And then I think maybe this one was a purple. We'll find out when they turn color. And then this whole row is purple. It looks like there's one that's turned purple already. Yep. Yeah, it's tiny, but it's turning purple already. So these are all our purple bell peppers. And then these are all our green bell peppers. There's quite a few fruit on these as well. I think each plant's got a few of them. Yep. The kids handy dandy little wheelbarrow. We love this thing. We've been using this like crazy to weed. Weed down this fence. Um, like I said, this is where we have our cucumbers more but we only put them out to that corner so that brings us to this pepper bed um, these are the onions that, around the bed that we planted in one of our first videos they're doing really well um, I didn't really have high hopes for them because I've never done onions before but let's see the bulbs are getting pretty big but those are all along the edge of this box and then this weed in here I think this is called purslane it's just all over the place in this box so kind of just leaving it maybe it'll be um, a good ground cover versus the grass and weeds coming up this is most of our jalapenos and there are a couple more jalapenos over here on this side. And then that one and that whole row are Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. 
they are getting a lot of peppers on them. Like they are just loaded. So I can't wait for these to get ripe so I can try one because I've never had them before. Here we have our banana peppers. That one that was here in the corner that was um, bit down to a stub, it died. But I went ahead and I bought two more. So here's two more banana peppers. We have four now. But these are getting pretty big fruits on there. And then we put some yellow beans here just because the space was empty. I put some more in here, but only a couple of them came up. And then here we have four eggplants. And these eggplants are attracting these little Japanese beetles. Then over here from one of our first couple of videos, this is that flower rhubarb bed we made. You can see the rhubarbs in there. Doing pretty good right in there. And then we just planted the onions around in there too because we had more onions to plant. So that brings us back around to the front. And if you guys can hear the kids in the background, they're up front playing in the pool. So I'm sorry if they're a little bit loud, but it is what it is. Kids are going to be excited to play in the pool. But that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little garden tour. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on just yet, but we will be back for a July tour. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.